Bright what? suns, everyone. Did I did I get that right? Yeah. Bright sun. That is a thing. Happy May the fourth to everyone out there. It is officially Star Wars Day. We are so excited to be here with you on the LPT special edition of the LPTV Disney Morning Show special because we are going to be Star Wars only, mostly, for the rest of this show. Star Wars only, mostly. Okay. Star Wars only, mostly. Uh, if huge news breaks, we'll bring it. But otherwise, we're going to stick with Star Wars, with the exception of this day in Disney history. Um, I'm Doobie Mosley, co-founder of Laughing Place. Over there is Kyle Burbank, the other... No, you're not. The managing editor of Laughing Place. <laughs> said the other co-founder no, yeah. the managing editor of laughing place you weren't even were you born when laughing place was founded? i was 13 years old oh my goodness that's so painful <laughs> were you I'm on the, the, site the age of your son now <laughs> which he could found the site frankly were you um were you a reader back then uh no i don't think so i was still on okay. you know 56k uh no i didn't discover i actually found laughing place through the podcast was the, okay so it would have been like circa 2007, 2008. So, so that means that you, who are, you know, one of the most important people at Laughing Place now, found us through the podcast. That makes the podcast worth it for that alone. So I'm glad we had that endeavor. Go. All right. <laughs> We're going to talk Disney this morning. Um, if you're out there, let us know. Hello, Gio. Thanks for being here today. May the fourth be with you as well, Charles. Disneyland is a fun place, I agree. And hello, Sonia. Always nice to see you here. Thank you very much for joining us. We're going to start today the way we start many days, and that is with a look at the stock price. How is it reacting to Star Wars Day? What do you think, Kyle? Well, the Fed raised yes. rates yesterday, so that can't be good. I don't know what else is happening in the world, but I'm still going to say down. Down. It was in the 101 range yesterday. Oh, Whew pelted yesterday we were talking about how great it is that it's solidly in the three digits for so long this is as low as it's been in a while wow yeah okay hmm. interesting all right well we're going to move on to better news we have ethan <laughs> all right let's see how sassy he is today hello there and welcome to another episode of the Disney Weather Update. Since I already used up my ranting material yesterday, let's get to the weather. Mustafar will be boiling hot today with highs of 1500, give or take a few degrees with no chance of rain. Khorasan will see perfect weather today, just as it always does. As for Alderaan, it's looking at a partly cloudy. Oh, never mind. Overnight showers in Anaheim have cleared, leaving mostly cloudy skies. It will get to a high of 63, with a chance of showers returning late late this evening. Walt Disney World is in for lots of sunshine and highs in the upper 80s. Plus, there's a green flag on the Aerofile Wind Index. Castaway Key will also be sunny, topping out at 84 with 60% humidity. Disneyland Paris has a few showers on the radar but should be clear around 8 p.m. They'll manage to stay above 60 degrees for the rest of the night. Tomorrow, Tokyo will be partly cloudy but winds will pick up in the afternoon and continue to be blustery through the evening. Nevertheless, they'll reach a high of 74. Shanghai is in for a wet day as thunderstorms will begin overnight giving way to showers through the mid-evening. Temperatures will still feel like 80 due to humidity. Meanwhile, Hong Kong will likely stay dry and reach 82 degrees. However, the real feel will be a whopping 89 degrees. And that will do it for another Disney weather forecast. Have a good day and may the foot. Well, you know the rest. Bye for now. Wow. <laughs> may the... <laughs> um, that, was a, that was a great beginning. I'll draw on. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. All right, let's get started. Um, it's May the 4th. Happy Star Wars Day. So excited to be with you on this Star Wars Day. Let's get started with um, some stuff going on in Paris. Uh, Luke is out there in Paris. Is that correct, Kyle? That is correct. He's yeah. messaging me right now. He was able to get on the train. So. <laughs> wow, you guys are tight. Um, so he, he took a walk around Paris on Star Wars Day and showed us some of the stuff they've got going on there. Of course, Hyperspace Mountain is running Which there. has been there like for it, years. It's not That's not a special edition like it is at Disneyland. They've had it for a while. I'm just clarifying for the people. Here is a picture of uh, Star Wars music playing throughout Discovery Land, which is really nice. The picture? It's a, it's a video, but we don't need to play it. I'm not going to play it. And then, of course, got some meet and greets here. Got uh, Mandalorian there with Grogu. Um, apparently the wait to meet Ray and Chewbacca is quite long. I don't 
speak French that fluently, but I believe that says wait time 200 minutes. Is that accurate, Kyle? That would be correct. Yeah, you don't have to read French. You can see where it says wait time. <laughs> I, I didn't know the part <laughs> above it may have like, this is not actually wait time. I couldn't translate. <laughs> you do speak French, by the way. Uh, oui, <laughs> Enough oui. to figure out. Je ne sais pas Wait, wait. Um, so meet and greets, special merchandise, of course, shocking. So this is Disneyland Paris. We cover the world here at Laughing Place. Even some special May the 4th, 2023 dated merchandise. Kidder, way to enjoy this Star Wars Day, Rogue One. Great show. On TBS East. I was going to specify okay. TBS East. Yeah, got to watch the <laughs> have... East Coast feed. Now... I mean, I, I, I'm guilty of this myself, but do you not have Disney Plus? The, the number of times I have watched a Star Wars movie on cable because it's there instead of switched over to Disney Plus is infinite, but I'm just curious, is that what you're doing as well? Um, I, I forgot, I wanted to give you guys some Star Wars Day reminders separate from the actual news. Reminder today, Carrie Fisher, aka Princess Leia, gets a star on the Walk of Fame. So I'm sure we'll have some sort of coverage of that later on today after it happens. Um, some new stuff dropping on Disney Plus today. We've got Star Wars Visions, Volume 2 on Disney Plus. You can check out check Mike's out. reviews, his overall review, and I think he has reviews of each episode or will if he has not already. Cool. So, yeah, if you need to make some choices, let Mike guide you. Um, Young Jedi Adventures just dropped today on Disney Plus. A bunch of episodes of that. Are you excited to check this out, Kyle? It looks kind of cute. Um, I mean, this little like blue bear thing is adorable. So that's the guy who loves Ewoks. And yeah. uh, for you Simpsons fans, they are crossing over again this year. Rogue Not Quite One, Maggie Simpson and Rogue Not Quite One is now available on Disney Plus. So. Fun stuff to check out. It's only four minutes long. No excuse not to watch this, people. Everyone out there. And it's not even really this. four minutes long. It'll be like a minute and a half with credits. We should just like, watch that's it. That's how those shorts are. They're really <laughs> short. I'll watch it together. No, we're not going to. We're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And let's get back to Paris, where for one day only. Now, what confuses me about this, Kyle, this is the first order of March at Disneyland Paris. It is back for today only. Uh -huh. The part that confuses me is where's the March? Uh, yeah, I know, because it's May. It's very weird. Because at Disneyland, at Hollywood Studios, the first door, they, it's like marches down Hollywood Boulevard. Well, they might Here's do that. Day. This might just be the beginning of it. I went to the end. They're still up No, there. I mean, I'm just saying this is, might be what Luke captured. Not saying. Oh, that. okay. So we may not have the full story here. Okay, that's Potentially. it. So one day only, though. So if you missed it, it's not like you're going to go back tomorrow and catch it. But this is what we got. I want to see. We've only got a few more seconds here. Oh, they're marching. But it's not quite the same as uh, at Hollywood Studios. But yes, they are marching. Make way for This Kylo European Ray. crowd. Fun fact about this European crowd, they've only had one soda. <laughs> well, they can have more sodas. They just have to pay for them. You can't have free refills. All right. I'm still not fully grasping that. Uh, Broken Jerry Jeremiah might go see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 today at 3. I mean, that is a good idea, but it is Star Wars Day. It is not Guardians Day. That's why we didn't buy our tickets somehow. I, I don't know how we're not seeing like a Marvel movie on opening night, but not because it's Star Wars Day and we have <laughs> like can't go see a Marvel movie, but because we know that Star Wars Day in our neck of the woods is a pain in the butt. So don't want to have the added stress of trying to make a movie. <laughs> um, let's see. Photo pass at Hollywood Studios, where Jeremiah is right now. I'm going to have some tweets from him. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter, because Jeremiah is tweeting from there right now. But PhotoPass has introduced some new photo experiences starting today. Show you some of those. They're very cool. It's really cool what they're doing. Is he doing this? Is he doing his arms crossed, like, B-boy style Grogu? I, is that what I think that's his robe. I don't think that's <laughs> I think it robe. is, too, but it almost <laughs> looks like he's going... <laughs> Wow, Kyle. Get, meets, uh, it looks BB like he just busted a move. 
is what I'm saying. I know, it, it kind of does, but... Who's this little critter on the shoulder? Does he have a name? That is... It does. I think it's... Is that the one that's from the game? The one that's like a little dog? There's a game that's out, video game. Geo will know, because he's in the video Geo, game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dark Saber. Dark Saber. I know that name. So go out to Hollywood Studios, get one of these cool photo pass magic shots. Hey, yeah, hockey puck. <laughs> wow. Um, let's see. Oh, Mike, Mike Mack with some helpful information here. He says, we will have a post up later today explaining the Guardian's post credit scene. So one. There's a post credit scene? Spoiler. <laughs> cool. But two, Mac, it's Star Wars Day. Oh, so Geo says BD, but Rebecca, additional information, BD1. But from the game thing, right? The game? And really exciting news for you music fans. Uh, they have released the track listing for Guardians of the Galaxy. Nope, for Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, Gaia's album. So there you can see the album cover. I mean, it's digital. You can stream it now on YouTube Music and any other streaming service. But there you can still see the album cover. And there is the full track list there. You've, you've heard a lot of these, Kyle, because you've actually taken a Galactic Star Cruiser. Yeah, I, I'm sure I have heard them. I've heard the Gaia one. New, yeah, I mean, I don't remember the names of them. She introduces them before she performs them. But uh, yeah, there's two performances that you enjoy on the uh, Star Cruiser. There's a dinner performance, and then there's a, an acoustic performance um, on a different day. A very rare acoustic performance, so... And um, here is proof that it is now available. This is my personal YouTube music account. Wow. It available there. 11 songs, 41 minutes. Go and enjoy it on yours. Okay. Probably will give it a listen later. Uh, Rich has already given it a listen. Love the album. And I yes, will have to listen to that because I do song. enjoy Gaia. Jedi Survivor. That's the name of the game. All right. We probably should get Re uh, Becca, sorry, get Becca ready. She'll be joining us very shortly to talk about some of the Star Wars Day merchandise. But um, before we do, let's take a look at Jeremiah's Twitter thread as he is in Hollywood Studios right now. And let's see what he has seen so far. <laughs> wow, um, he saw crowds. He saw a lot of people there. Where else are you going to go on Star Wars Day? So here we have the dark side uh, create this dark side creation is at Starbucks. This looks like that Darth Maul thing. We did the foodie guide earlier in the week, so now we get to see some of it for realsies. This is the uh, acid spitter orb sipper with lanyard that you can get in Galaxy's Edge. It's confusing because spitter and sipper are both in the title. It seems like opposites. <laughs> An um, oxymoronic uh, beverage. You're not here. wrong. You're not wrong at all. Um, he's also got the pictures of the limited edition Cal Kestis lightsaber. Hilt. 400 You do bucks. have to purchase the braids separately. Just yeah. like with the yeah, uh, Ahsoka ones helps. that we have. We don't actually have blades for them. We just have two Ahsoka hilts in a box. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We, we make bad decisions sometimes. Yeah, I would say that. $400 if you want to get yourself one of those. Hi, Hassan. Um, oh, a very confusing beverage container. <laughs> he would wow. know. Oh, man. Wow, wow, wow. Does he, does he look good today or what? He looks good today. Uh, looks real good Star today. Wars mini mugs. Ah, wrong button. Ah, Dewey Mosley, television. <laughs> so, uh, is that all we've got so far? Let me check that. back to the thread. I am... To do, to do, to do. So he is there today. Yep, that's all we've got so far. Well, but that stay just tuned. gives us when they add to that thread. <laughs> you got a bit going. That's right. <laughs> Let me make sure I've got it ready. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't put it up with just one thing. I hope he does some of the photo pass. Can you message him and tell him that he needs to do the photo passes and send us the photos? Um, uh, I could, but perhaps someone else out there could let him know that who's not broadcasting right now. <laughs> I know we have some people watching who might be able to do that. We need those for our entertainment. Um, let me see. I'm sorry, he's got. I'm checking out. He's got some other. 
other tweets here that I don't apparently aren't in that thread. So, oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Breaking I hope news. Your wife is ready. No breaking news. Um, she <laughs> is uh, getting there. Oh, okay. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. Can we get a thumbs up from down there when you're ready? All right. We are very happy to bring on. Should I play Tony's intro? No. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> He's not watching. He won't get mad. We are happy yeah. to bring on. You can introduce her. You can uh, introduce her. She's your wife. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she is the co host of Barely Necessities and our merchandise lead and site manager. Her handle is at Disney Merch Show, according to her thing. Please welcome Michael Burbank. Hi, guys. Sorry, I look like I just woke up, which is kind of kind of true. <laughs> yes, if you look at the uh, the times that the articles on our site were posted last night. <laughs> I know. I asked you last night if you could come on, and then I get an answer at what must have been like one in the morning for you. I'm like, Becca, go to bed. I know, I know, right? <laughs> I was gonna. I was telling your wife, Rebecca, and then also Kyle. Remember when shop or not shop? Remember when Star Wars Day was fun? When it was just an exchange between like fans, like "May the Fourth be with you," and now it's just like, oh. Now it's merchandise drops at two a.m. Central Time. Exactly. Does, does that bother you, Kyle? Like the whole Orange Bird thing? Uh, yeah, it bothers me. I figured it did. I feel like okay. I, I think I have to side with Ethan on this one. His whole rant yesterday. I think uh, I have to agree with him. What a coincidence that you and Ethan agree. All right. I'm sorry, Becca. Where do you want to start? We can go anywhere. Uh, probably Shop Disney is a great place to start, in a right? Balloon. I'm sorry. We can go anywhere in a balloon. In a balloon. Yes. Yes, we can. I can go in the sky. But uh, yeah, the return. The, there's Return of the Jedi merchandise, which I'm still in the process of updating. But yeah, <laughs> we've got some some exciting stuff on Shop Disney, of course. Um, yeah. Anything in particular you want to highlight? Um, I'm still at it. I like that Leia and uh, Wicket shirt right there. Now that one I actually do have in our article. I'm still adding links to some of the other items, <laughs> but I think that's cool. It's a scene right there from the movie when the two of them kind of become friends. Doobie doesn't like it because it's got Ewok. <laughs> You're right. Are You're you not an Ewok, Ewok guy? Too, Wicket Email. is to Doobie as Orange Bird is to Kyle. <laughs> oh, now I'm learning something not only about Doobie, but about Kyle. I didn't know you had such no, a... No, we have a joke that I dislike Orange Bird. What I'm just saying is that he's overrated and people act like he's some like, secret underground character. Um, but yeah. Uh, we've also you got like some... Uh, yeah, like the... I like the, cool. the backpack is cool. The uh, the hat and the... And the Fanny pack wow. as well with that camo style, like very, it looks very like cool. This is for pre-order from mm -hmm. Herschel. Right. So it's going to be one of these high quality backpacks. As you can see, it's $120. It's going to, it will store a lot of stuff. It'll, it'll get you to and from Endor. No problem. <laughs> right. You, you will have no stuff left after you spend $120 on a backpack. <laughs> Um, we've also got some Roosevelt's shirts over at Shop Disney. So they've announced a collection that's launching on their site today, but there's four exclusives on Shop Disney right now. So Is this them? Yes, or at least when I last looked. Um, <laughs> two styles are available for pre-order and two are available. Um, yeah, I saw some Twitter Twitter action that said perhaps some stuff is already sold out. As, that was as wrong. They, I don't know why it said sold out for them because the shirt is now for... So they might have sold out their initial stock and are now taking pre-orders for more. Okay. Um, are you a big fan of any of these, Becca? I really like that Jedi Temple, the one that... Um, the run on the right there where it's kind of like almost like trading cards or yeah like that's what I think of or even like those candles <laughs> you know where they you also do like a, an Iron Man the all the mock ones that was kind of like that it was kind of like that yes but completely different artwork style yeah so and then and then there were some Roosevelt's that uh, got announced yesterday right as yes. well from separate from Shop Disney Right, and those will be the, the these are going to be available today at four p.m. East on the Roosevelt site, and I like that uh, Ewok one in the middle, and then also well, actually, I like all I like all three of these. I I mean, they're I think Roosevelt's always does a great job, but we've got a Rancor over there, and it looks like the action figure. He's even got one of those is it Gamorian guards in his hand because he needs a snack. We've got Ewoks there. 
you know, saving the galaxy on Endor, and then just a whole bunch of Admiral Akbar saying, it's a trap. I <laughs> In neon color scheme, I think it's fantastic. So the uh, Ewok one, you, you discovered this is the green colorway. They previously had a different one. They have a purple colorway. I feel like the pattern is a little bit different because there's some stuff that I didn't see on this shirt that were on the, that was on the other shirt, but uh, very similar style aesthetic. But, I like purple, but I think I like this green colorway it's better. Good. I think it fits more. And I'm design. I'm wearing a Star Wars Roosevelt right now, so I'm yeah can't see too much. This was one of the um, D23 Expo at, uh, exclusives, and we've got. Grogu here with his eating his snacks and there's some frogs jumping around. Um, and this is a ladies cut, so you can see it fits me so nicely. And a lot of these are in ladies cut this time too, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't believe the Rancor, but I think the other, uh, I think the other three or four that are available are. Um, I wanted to point out back here that this, this one is based on vintage bookmarks, as Rebecca says, I okay. read that, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so there you go. Kind of like not quite trading cards, but yes, you get that. Yeah, that. If you can back. scroll down on that article, there's another one I wanted to show. Oh, dear, in the, I'm sorry. No, no, I can go back. In this okay. one? Uh, yeah, in that article, um, a little bit down, there's this uh, cool Return of the Jedi one that has uh, Japanese on it. And as I went through it yesterday, I realized that it doesn't say um, um, return. It says Jedi's return because that. The katakana there is Jedi, and then the possessive, and then yeah. So. Fun facts. Yeah, we got a couple um, other languages. I'm deeming too. them fun without Doobie's approval. <laughs> Kyle's sporting the French and the Japanese today. That's so impressive. Yeah, le retour du Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> so. um, all right, and Amazon Echo Dot stuff. Beck, mm -hmm. are you familiar with these cool things? I have not used a. a an echo or dot or echo dot whatever it's called but i think that looks that looks pretty fantastic so that's what the mando helmet there uh, it's like mando meets martin luther so you <laughs> you put these on your dot which lights up the dot automatically lights up whenever it does stuff and so that light will then come up through here and you can have darth vader saying boop 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 your dinner is ready or you know your timer is done or whatever which is interesting do you have one of do you have a dot at we, home we have many dots in our home yes because you got them all over the place they're really really cheap <laughs> and do you have any of the disney or star wars uh little holders not as, not as far as i know but rebecca hadn't gotten out of bed yet when i got up this morning so we'll see what's waiting for me when i get home <laughs> okay that's cool um, yeah, but these, I, I love this idea. These are cool. I would not hate having these on our Echo Dot. Yeah, I agree, and it's it's a fun way to incorporate the technology, but also make it look like what a, an intentional display <laughs> piece, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, dots are tiny enough that it's not like, oh, what is that thing over there? But now it becomes a thing. It becomes decor. It's very cool. I'm sorry. Come on, Link. I'm trying to show the Case Defy stuff, and I'm waiting for the link to load. Oh, yes. Case Defy. Yes. So that was an early morning, late night release. They have an exclusive collector set, limited edition collector set with there we go. the uh, N1 Starfighter and the Mandalorian helmet. Both of those are phone cases. And then we've also got the uh, Grogu AirPods case, which which was introduced uh, last month, two months ago, and proved to be very popular. But yeah, this is this is a special uh, special edition collector set. Three hundred and forty dollars, which is a lot. But case defies uh, case defies cases are intended to to completely protect your phone, and they're they're you know one of these uh, something that's something that's ideal for people who are out and about all the time, right? <laughs> And I can't hear the name without thinking case defy. <laughs> of course, Kyle would Kyle would go that route. <laughs> and um, let's see, Nuimo. I know you guys love Nuimos, right? Yeah, I was surprised. We knew the the cosplay styles were coming. We did not know about Yoda. So we have a Yoda Nuimo, and I'm 
I'm tempted to purchase this, but I have not yet. This was one of the drops from Midnight uh, on Shop Disney. And we've also got some fun clothes. So you can have your new emos cosplay as Han, Leia, and then as a stormtrooper. <laughs> Anything else that we should make sure to mention or people should be on the lookout for for the rest of the day? I think uh, just stick around for Roosevelt's this afternoon and we will we'll keep updating our Shop Disney articles and all sorts of articles on our, our Twitter feed. So lots to lots to check out today. Well, thank you for taking the thank time, you. which I, I know is a really busy day for you <laughs> So, as the merchandise person. So thanks a lot, Becca. <laughs> thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Becca Burbank, ladies and gentlemen, a.k.a. Kyle's wife. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kyle, you sent me something. Yeah. I, I don't know how many people here collect Disney Movie Insider points, but there's a bonus today. If you go enter Jedi, you get free points. I don't know how many. Probably like five, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> very helpful um let's see we are going to move on to a segment that we do a lot but no longer do always but we have a lot to do today okay up this comes from rebecca mosley who posted this in a place where i could see it if you search Grogu on YouTube today and you hide your banner so you can see it all, look who's down there in the corner. Aww. There he is. And if you click over there, he shows off his powers. Oh, I've seen this before. Did they did this for something else recently? Was it like for the Mando launch premiere? Because yeah, because he'll just keep on doing that. I've seen this before. <laughs> well, they have rolled him back out for Star Wars Day, so make yeah, sure you go makes to sense. Go to Google. You don't get this kind of fun on DuckDuckGo. Type in Grogu. And uh, <laughs> actually, you might. I haven't checked. <laughs> I have a uh, breaking news update. Wait, 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 wait. I got 25 points with that code that I mentioned. <laughs> That's five times as many points as I predicted. <laughs> five times as many points as you predicted. That is... Very exciting, Kyle. I'm glad you pointed that out. I need to check the thread, by the way, just to make sure we're not missing out on anything fun. Yeah, sorry. So it was a bit of a... Oh, oh, oh. I see something two minutes ago. This just in. The thread has been updated. Quote. I actually, like, I didn't know it was that shiny. I like that. <laughs> These pins are really cool. Well, there you go. Thank you, Jeremiah. Good. Keep the breaking news coming. All right. So we are doing some pocket picks here. We showed you Grogu on Google. Um, do you get that on Bing? He was the uh, Geo said. Do you get that on Bing too? So I'm going to search Grogu on Bing and see if anything. I don't special know if happens. Bing has bits. Nothing. Nothing <laughs> special at all. Nothing. All right. Um, this one is on TikTok. TikTok on the clock, but the body don't stop. Not one, but two playlists of the galaxy's greatest hits. Featuring all your favorite songs like Squib, Batu Boogie, and Blue Milk Surprise. DJ Rex. Play this one and two now available for streaming on your data pad. That is from Disney Parks with that. I, I have a note. Yes. Uh, they should only have, they should list all the songs on the side, but they should only, they should put the ones that are playing in a different color if they want to be more accurate to the thing that they are parodying. I mean, they can also make lots of other changes. <laughs> That's where they used to do it back in the day when they would scroll all those songs. Um, Hopefully Kyle unfreezes soon. Um, yeah, remember when they'd have like the commercial, like the k tell or whatever, and they would scroll all the songs, and the one that you're listening to would always be in a different color, so you know which one you're listening to. Yeah. They've been, they could do it in the 80s, and they can't do it now. All right, this one is just hilarious. It is a video uh, promoting Star Wars Jedi Survivor, showing how they do some of the uh, 
some of the training for that, supposedly. Remember, just feel it. <sighs> All right. You're on Kobo. The Mogo Wampa thing is coming. You're not scared. Show me focus. Good. You're not playing baseball. Right. You will take me to the senator now. You will take me to the senator no now. No less risk. Mark, you know I don't actually have the force, right? BD1 says no excuses. Hold it. You get two lightsabers? Well, technically one, but I can split them. You never gave me two lightsabers. Mark? <laughs> Now use your force powers to pull that sphere. I really don't need you to explain the force to me. I tried to do my uh, my Leo DiCaprio impression when BD1 came up and pointed at the TV. Never mind. Do we? All right, and then we we got two from yeah way over. I got a haircut, so it's a little easier to get over. Um, I thought you were two. fantastic, Doobie. I thought you were. All up on your stuff, but no, I, I I've gotten la lazy with my meme. So we've got two from Mac, which is funny because they're both about the same thing. They're both about Duel of the Fates, and they give two completely different takes on the uh, lyrics for that song or that segment of Phantom Menace. So I don't know which one is accurate. So it's what they ended up singing is Sanskrit. And the full story of it is John Williams saw this choreographed final scene and it reminded him of an old Welsh poem called The Battle of the Trees. And this is like a what? fucking 14th century situation here. There's a part of the poem that goes, Under the tongue root, a fight most dread, and another rages mm. behind in the head. So John Williams locked in on that line and... He tapped some buddies in the Harvard Linguistics Department to translate it into like 10 to 20 different ancient languages. And then he had the London voices sing all these different translations and they landed on Sanskrit as the, the language that they wanted to go with. So if you think that, that he just wrote out some syllables and told them to sing, you are that's some sorely, That's some Pixar getting rats mistaken. in the studio as they're doing the animation for Ratatouille level commitment there. So it's... Were you aware of that story, Kyle? No, because I don't even necessarily know this, uh, <laughs> what we're talking about. I'm sorry? You don't what? know Duel of the Fates? What? No, what's that? You're kidding, right? <laughs> no, I mean, I've heard the phrase. I'm sure I know the scene. I just don't really know it. You've seen Phantom Menace? Uh, yeah. It's a bad movie with one great seg segment. And that's the end when the two dudes are fighting the bad dude with the horns on his head while the song plays. That song okay. is Duel of the Fates. And okay. It is, it is spectacular. Do you know spectacular. the name of the bad dude? Darth Maul. Do you know the name of the good dudes? Uh, Obi Wan Kenobi and Qui Gon Jinn. Okay, he did. Played, played by the guy from Rogue Trader, and the guy from Schindler's List. Yeah. So I know my stuff, man. I only act stupid. All right. So that's one story for those lyrics, probably the accurate story. But then Mac also sent me this. <gasps>
will get big ding for playing the entire song if we don't stop there. But I invite you to go check that out because that is hilarious. Here is a link to it on the TikTok. <laughs> so if you're wondering what they're really saying, it's corn. <laughs> wow. Very good, Kyle. <laughs> Whoops. Whew, that was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mac. Um, that's it for today's Pocket Picks on this special edition of the show, but we do have one more segment. All right. On this day in Disney history, we're going to quiz you for most of them, but not for this first one, Kyle, because this first oh, okay. one is near and dear to me. On this day in 1944, Rusi Taylor, the longtime voice of Minnie Mouse, was born. She has since passed away. One of our favorite people in the world. She was very nice to us personally, very nice to Laughing Place as well. So just going to show a little bit. She also is very well known for being married to Wayne Allwine, who was the voice of Mickey Mouse. That's right. Uh, Wayne and Rusi, Mickey and Minnie were married in real life. And uh, so here's just a See, little bit of... I probably could have guessed that if you let me. If you would have said long time voice of Minnie Mouse, would have figured it out. But... I'm sure you would have. So here's a little thing they did together. It's so beautiful um, at an NFFC convention. Just play a little bit of that for you. We'll go into this. So happy birthday to the late Rusi Taylor. Okay, Kyle, are you ready? Uh, I, I need to share something. I, you know, we talked about how m my annoyance with Star Wars Day. Uh, Benji just put something in to do. We just put Star Wars products. You're going to have to be more specific. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, sh uh, if you need to be the big cheese of a <laughs> website, <laughs> please send your resume too. <laughs> All right, Kyle, on this day in 1977, an attraction opened in Disneyland. That should be enough of a clue right there. Uh, in what year? 1977. 77. Attraction. Uh, <laughs> was Space Mountain? Very good, Kyle. Very good. Based on the spaceport idea that John Hinch had many years before, finally came to be at Disney World in 1975 and at Disneyland in 1977. Remember at Disneyland, they had to sink it 15 feet in the ground to keep it from towering over their puny castle over there in Fantasyland. Happy birthday, Space Mountain. Very good. Geo knew it. No, no surprise there. On this day in 1997... You okay. are not going to get this one, but Geo might. Uh, some entertainment debuted at Walt Disney World, one of their hotels. Extremely popular, still plays to this day. A fan favorite. Whoop de doo. So close. Very good guess. Very good guess. Do I Fits all of that, but it's not hoop de doo. I doubt. You you probably know it because during the during the shutdown, we had to do a couple of stories Is on this. Yeehaw, Bob. Yes, very good. Bob Yeehaw. Jackson? Yes. Yeehaw Bob made his debut on this day at uh, Disney's Port Orleans back in 1997. And he still plays. You can still see him over there. I has seen that show. I have not. I have not seen that show, but we used to eat at Boat Rights, which is right next door every Friday. So I've heard it many, many, many times because it is loud. <laughs> but I've never actually sat there and watched it. All right, finally, on this day in 2012, a movie opened, Kyle. You're not going to need any help with this one. Avengers. Avengers, that is right. The uh, Still, I think, all things considered, still, in my opinion, the best of the MCU films. It all came I together. don't think that's true, but it is. Uh, I... This was back when the uh, doing a Marvel um, MCU marathon made it was still like feasible, <laughs> possible. Uh, so my friends and I we did that. We did the marathon at that point. I only seen the two Iron Men, and I think I don't think I'd even seen Captain America or Thor. So we 
caught up and then saw this at midnight back when back when we had to wait till midnight instead <laughs> yeah. of like you know 3 p.m on thursday <laughs> um and yeah so uh, great memories of of doing that and that really got me into i haven't missed one since it was uh fully in at that point yeah this this was spectacular because you they set everything up and this was the first time it all came together and you didn't know if it would work and it worked so spectacularly well that you're like wow okay they know what they're doing here this is great and so yeah i agree there's been some that have been better but just this being the first to me makes it really stand out and they so. you know they really set the stakes by killing off agent colson and never bringing him back again <laughs> making sure everyone knows that in the MCU death is permanent and they're not just going to resurrect people from time to time on T just, just to have a TV series about them. You mean? <laughs> yeah. Welcome Tahiti. to level six or whatever he says. looks like Mike is busy posting this morning. Uh, yeah, you've got a lot of, that's 50% of the news desk team. That does happen. Oh, that <laughs> he's Mike. posting. Mike. No, yeah, Mike. I, I, I think it would be other Mike. Yes. Yeah. As as promised, <laughs> he is posting individual reviews of all of the Star Wars Visions episodes. So, um, if you want insight onto which ones he thought were the best, go ahead and check those out. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Mike. Um, let's see. I think that's just about it for today. I, we do need to check and see if Jeremiah has anything new. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Don't know find that them. link um he was a good friend of mine i didn't know that i never understood a single word he said <laughs> nope just the pen so if jeremiah has any more tweets today we may have to go live just so we can do breaking news and show that to you but otherwise we hope everyone has a fantastic may the 4th you have any big plans for today no just uh helping my wife stay sane and then <laughs> relaxing afterwards and not seeing guardians of the galaxy but maybe we'll go see guardians of the galaxy we'll see if there's a couple tickets when we're ready so what did it, today's Thursday. Okay. So it opens tomorrow, which means you can see it today at three o'clock. I don't know. Three, three, three o'clock is just a, I don't well, know. Well, Broken Jeremiah said he was thinking about going to see it at three. So I'm taking his well, words. Do you have any, do you have any box office predictions? Um, 150. 150. I think that's a little bit higher than projections right now. Um, I don't know. That seems doable right, to so me. Kyle G3 prediction. 150 we will revisit that on monday yeah i don't know it's it's hard to do that these days because like it should make that much in a normal world and especially because ticket prices have gone up and now they have all this stupid dynamic pricing but then uh some things just haven't been making as much but if uh mario can make 200 something million or whatever it was then come on guardians 3 should totally do at least 150. will it be the number one movie of the weekend I think by default, yeah. I think it'll be a double Pratt. Not quite Pratt, 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 but you'll have Pratt, Pratt. <laughs> the double. Dude, that have guy, you seen that the, um, well. was it something Matthew commercials that um, that Chris Pratt does? No. Uh, they're no, pretty no, funny. No. There's one where he's like, um, uh, he realized that people were covering in the winter, people were covering their tops and not their bottoms. So he invented pants named after his mother. Pants Matthews. <laughs> Very silly. I have not seen this at all. That sounds fantastic. I'm going to have to look it up. But okay, guys. Yeah, I, I, know, after air, but yeah. I know I'll be finding it later. One more thing Kyle sends me I never watch. <laughs> yep, which, that's how it goes. But then I do watch some of them, and I really appreciate them, so don't ever stop. All right, thanks for joining us, Kyle. I will see you tomorrow. What do we have later today? Do we have any shows today? Um, I Let me look. I feel like we, we definitely have lots of coverage. Um, I don't know exactly about the streaming schedule. Uh, we, like we mentioned, Carrie Fisher things up today, so you can watch that on walkoffame.com. That's at 11.30 Pacific. Um, we have anyone actually we are going to have that? a walk and talk from Disneyland later today, apparently. 1 o'clock Pacific, yes. 1 o'clock Pacific time. We've got Mike Celestino at Disneyland. I'm sure he'll be visiting Galaxy's Edge. Uh, whoever's talking to him can also talk to him about all the, some, all the cool stuff happening today. Maybe ask him about visions or something. So check that out. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, select notifications. <laughs> and uh, thanks very much for joining us today.